All right, so thanks for joining me once again. And before I show you how you can start your own dropshipping business, I quickly want to show you the potential amount of how much you can be making when you launch your dropshipping business. So take for example, the product you're going to be selling is going to cost you $5 from the supplier. So you're going to enter $5 here as the wholesale price. So let's assume you're going to be selling this product for $35 to your customer. So the customer purchase price is going to be $35 and let's assume you are spending around $10 to sell one product. So per purchase you are spending around $10. So here we're going to enter $10 here as the advertising spent. So for the shipping cost let's assume you are shipping this product around $4. All right, so this is four dollar. So here, if there is additional um, fee you are spending on, so we can just enter five dollar here for the additional spending fee. So here, I'm going to click on calculate, so we can have an idea of how much you're going to be making. So as you can see here, your profit is going to be eleven dollar on one product. So your profit margin is around thirty one dollar. So let's assume you are able to sell one thousand of this product in a month. So let me quickly come over to my calculator here okay so let's assume your profit is eleven dollar so eleven dollar multiplied by one thousand so your profit for that month is going to be eleven thousand so this simply means you can be in your home set up a dropshipping store add products to your website and run adverts to this product and make eleven thousand dollars every month from your dropshipping website and this is exactly what i'm about to put you through in this video so how do you start your dropshipping business now for those that don't really understand what dropshipping is all about now dropshipping is a business model whereby you sell a product you don't have so basically what you are doing is you are going over to a supplier website okay so this is a supplier website and all you have to do is download the images then come back to your own store so when you come back to your own store add these images to your store then add the pricing and whenever a customer comes to your website then place an order for the product what you're simply going to do is you're going to be going back to the supplier website then place an order for the product based on the details your customer entered on your dropshipping website so the details of your customer on your website is what you're going to use to purchase the product on your supplier website so say for example your supplier is selling the product for one dollar and on your website you are selling the product for 38 dollar or 20 dollar so your profit is going to be 19 dollar if you are selling it on your website for 20 dollar so it's going to be 19 dollar and the total amount you're going to be paying on your supplier website is going to be one dollar all right so dropshipping is a business model whereby you don't have to buy the product in the first place with your money right so it's a business that you can easily set up without having big capital to start up the business so how can you start your own unique dropshipping business so for you to start your own dropshipping business there are a couple of things you're going to be needing all right so the first thing you're going to be needing is to have a dropshipping store all right so like the store i'm using here so you have to set up your own store so my own store is created with shopify so i'm going to add a link at the video description to shopify so you can set up your own shopify store so when you are setting up your own shopify store all you have to pay is just one dollar per month for the next three months so this is going to give you enough time to understand how the old shopify platform works so shopify is a very easy platform to create or to set up your dropshipping business so just go to the description of the video click the link there and set up your shopify store to start your dropshipping business so once you have your store the next thing we are going to be needing is a payment gateway so a payment gateway is a way at which you're going to be receiving payment on your website so for example your customer comes to your website they like the product when they click on add to cast now they are going to have to make payment so as you can see here so when they click on add to cart as you can see we, uh, we have the option of checkout and we have the option of paper so when they click on checkout it's going to redirect them to where they are going to enter their details enter their card number 
So when they check out here, I'm going to receive the money. All right. So from the money, I can now go back to the supplier website and make a purchase for the product. So the next thing you're going to need is a payment gateway. So for the payment gateway, the best payment gateway you can use for your Shopify payment or for your dropshipping business is Stripe. So for country where Stripe is not enabled by default, the best thing you can do is to set up a business in the US. I'm also going to add a link at the end of the video. So you can use Northwest to set up your business in the US. When you have your business set up in the US, you'll be given your own personal EIN. So this EIN is what you are going to use to create your Stripe account. So when your Stripe account is ready, you can now come back to your Shopify store then integrate your stripe account to your shopify store and whenever any customer lands on your website they will be able to check out with the stripe you've already added to your shopify dropshipping store so for all of the resources i mentioned in this video i'm going to add a link to them in the description of the video so for you to create your shopify store i did a video on this already i'm going to add a link to it addition of video and for you to set up your payment gateway for you to create your stripe account all of this is going to be at the end of the video so just go to the video click the link there and watch all of the resources you need to launch your dropshipping business so once you have your payment gateway set up the next thing you want to put in place is the supplier website and the supplier website you can also use is cj dropshipping now what makes it easy is that you can integrate cj with your shopify store so whenever a customer plays an order for any product on your shopify store you don't have to go over to cj to manually input this order so all you have to do is just click a button on your shopify store and the order is going to be sent to cj automatically so when you start running adverts to your dropshipping store and when you start having orders like 100 orders in a week or 100 orders in a day all you have to do is use the automatic um, plugin the app that is going to connect your store with cj to fulfill the orders automatically so for your supplier website what you're going to be using is cj so cj makes it easy for you to import product directly to your shopify store then also fulfill the order automatically so take for example you want to add a product from the supplier website you want to add it to your shopify store all you have to do is click on the product so take for example um, this product i want to add it to my shopify store all i have to do is come over here then click on list here so if you have the product already on your shopify store and you want to connect it with cj what you have to do instead is click on connect but i don't have the product already so i want to add a product as a new product to my shopify store so what i have to do is click on list so when you click on list it's going to show you the details of the product now this is a link to my shopify store now the reason why this is here is because i've been able to add a app that connects the cj dropshipping with my shopify store so let me quickly log into my shopify store so when you log into your shopify store come over to settings here so when you click on settings scroll down then click on apps and sales channel so when you click on apps and sales channel you're going to see the list of apps you have here so as you can see now this is the cj that makes it possible for me to list products to my shopify store all right so you're going to be using cj you're going to be using this app to list products from cj to your shopify website so for you to have the app to your shopify store what you want to do is you want to come over here then click on shopify app store so when you click on shopify app store, it's going to redirect you to the shopify app store so what you want to do here is you want to come over here then search for cj dropshipping so this is cj dropshipping so when you click on it you're going to see the app so this is the app as you can see it says install now this is because i've already installed it so in your own case what you want to do is you want to click on the app then install it and when you install it you'll be able to add product from cj to your shopify store and whenever you have an order on your store you'll be able to fulfill the order automatically on cj all right so this is how to set up your supplier website and link it together with your shopify store so once you have this in place the last thing you want to put in place is to set up advertisement for the product you want to promote so you can either promote the product using facebook or you use TikTok to promote the product on your Shopify store. So this is my Shopify store. Take for example, this is the product you want to promote. So what you want to do is you want to set up a Facebook advert to promote this product alone. So when you are running advert to your Shopify store, you don't have to um, add the link to the 
own Shopify store. Just copy the link of the product page, then add it at the channel you're going to be using to promote your product, be it Facebook or TikTok ads. So this is basically how you can set up a dropshipping business from the comfort of your home and make up to around $11,000 or even more than that without doing anything special. So like I said earlier, all the resources you need to launch your dropshipping business is going to be at the description of the video. So just go to the description of the video, click the link there and watch the video I did on how to set up your Shopify store, how to create your Stripe account, how to register your business in the US for you to have your own personal EIN and use this EIN to create your Stripe account and use this Stripe account to receive payment from your customer on your Shopify website. So all of this is going to be at the description of the video. So just go there and check all of them out. All right. So this is basically how you can set up a dropshipping business and make money from the comfort of your home. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are yet to subscribe to the YouTube channel, please subscribe so you can get more videos like this. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.